Welcome to Module 4, Parties 201, Expanding an Ever-Important Close. This module is to dive deeper into bringing your Blend Bash party to a close. Because you're doing a Blend Bash party, you need to utilize the time you have to maximize your results. During the party, when guests are blending and talking with friends, stay close by and become part of the conversations. This is a chance for you to be fun and interactive so they get more comfortable with you as a consultant. Before, the, uh, be, before you begin blending, be sure to encourage in a big way to blend and not just fill their blending bag with one fragrance. That's the fun of this party is getting creative, so have some recipe ideas around in small frames that are visible, plus use the recipe cards that come with the blend bash. You may even want to provide small labels with your contact information to each guest that they can attach to the bags and encourage them to write down what they blended so they can reorder when they need to. While blending, as I mentioned earlier, you need to be interacting with them. Share your favorites, giving them recipe ideas, letting them know there's six other themes someone could host and try with their friends and get them talking about themselves. This blending time can just be a mix of interaction and question. You might even throw out to the group, who's going to host the next one? You might reward someone with one of the glitter candles when they book a date at the party or use a booking envelope idea. That's basically an envelope with party dates you're ready to book and there's a slip of paper inside each envelope with a small gift. Yeah. And it could be something as simple as a sample of sprinkles for just booking that date at the party itself. Once the blending is winding down, start pulling guests aside one by one to close them out. Stay close to the action so you can still see and hear what's going on and create a welcome atmosphere. Remember to take a quick picture with the Blend Bash sign with all of the guests in their blending bags for a fun post in your social media outlet. Encourage the host to post it on her page, too, so her friends can see the fun everyone had. As we talked about in the previous module, your one-on-one -on -one time with guests is the most crucial part of the party. This is where everything comes together, and you begin building that relationship with these guests so they are motivated to do business with you again. This gives you an opportunity that they are going to get the best mix of products to give them a great fragrance experience. This is what we call upselling. So you're going to be sharing some different shades, maybe combination of, of products that they might want to purchase. You're finding out if they like to repeat this fun evening with their friends by hosting their own party. And lastly, finding out if they would like to learn more about what you do. I'm going to challenge you never to ask the question, will you host a party for me? This is not about you at all. This is about providing an opportunity for them to have a fun evening with friends and to enjoy the rich rewards of hosting a party with you. Consider it a gift to them when they decide to host. So how can you ask? Start out with a conversation starter. A question like, do you work outside the home? Is a great one because you immediately find out a little bit more about them. If they say yes, then you can ask, what do you do? With that answer, you can say, do you like your job? It's a perfect lead and to learn so much about your guest in a matter of about not even a minute. Next, as far as increasing the average customer order, you can ask something simple like, were you able to get everything you wanted tonight? In most cases, they probably had their eye on something that they just really weren't willing or could purchase that evening because of the cost. So you might then say, can I make a few suggestions? Get comfortable with the product so you've got some ideas that you can share with them. From a hosting standpoint, you might go on from there to say, how would you feel about hosting your own blend bash to get some of these items for free? So important that you ask that open-ended question and not just do you want to book a party because it's very easy for your guests to say yes or no. When you ask how would you feel about hosting your own blend bash, they have to give you a response that's bigger than a yes or a no, and it gives you an opportunity then to actually continue that conversation. Then the last one about the business, is there anything about this business that intrigues you or something that might be of interest to you? It's an easy way for you to just get those key things out there in a matter of a few moments. Now that it's all out there, you've probably booked two parties, maybe given some business information to at least one person. It is a great party when those things happen. So lastly, ask guests about being added to your business or VIP Facebook pages. You can let them know you share recipes and product ideas, plus some things about you on your business page, but your VIP page is for those customers that can really see themselves wanting to know more and learn more. 
That's where you post sales first, product discontinuations first, and generally help them to get to know you and Pink Zebra better. We mentioned this earlier as well in the previous module, but evaluate your results after every party. It is so important to pay attention to what's working and what's not. You can tweak things and change things if you're not getting the results that you want. So the first, are you getting two bookings every time? If you are getting two bookings at every party that you do, your business will continue to flourish, guaranteed. The next thing is, are you getting interest to join your team from at least one guest? Again, if you're getting eight to 10 guests there, there should be one person in that group that will be interested in joining your team. Are you actually talking to your host about joining your team? So once you actually wrap up with her at the end of the evening and share with her the sales and of course the rewards that she's gonna be getting and possibly the income that you've just earned, it's simple to ask if you ever thought about doing something like this. And lastly, was your part with your party settled SV, did it fall below or go above your current average? So you wanna know what your average is now, so as you do parties, that you are at least staying along with your average or possibly even increasing it as you continue to practice and get better and better at this party experience. So evaluating your results and tracking them will help you to improve your process and your approach. This brings us to the close of module four.